So today is the 6th of November 2011 and as you can see this right here is my brand new toy. Uh, the trailer, not the unicycle. Uh, I got this just a few days ago. It was a, a deal that I saw in Kijiji. It was just such a good deal that I couldn't pass it off. Uh, it's a brand new trailer, fresh from the box. Um, when I got it on Thursday and it was only $70 and uh, just... You know, I don't, I don't use a trailer on a regular basis, but I figured for things like this, when I want to carry my unicycle somewhere, or who knows what I want to carry, if I want to carry something with my bike, uh, having a trailer is definitely key. And this one looks like it's a pretty good trailer. It's, it's rated for uh, 180 pounds, so, um, you know, I could sit in there myself, and it, it's designed to hold my weight. Um, so right now I've got my, my unicycle in there. That's the only real uh, load testing that I've done with it. Uh, I'm just going to show you, um, you know, how it works and everything. It's very uh, nicely foldable. Um, well, first I'll show you how the hitch works. Um, so the hitch has a, a backup. Uh, the strap here is just a backup. Um, so I'll, to disconnect it first, you disconnect that. So it just um, unclips from the clip there. And then I have it just wrapped around uh, one of these uh, part of the frame back here. So that comes off. A little bit hard to do this job with one hand. There it is. And then, uh, so the actual hitch um, is, is this part here. You can see there's a, a spring in there. Um, there's in, within here, there's, uh, you can't really see it, but inside that spring, there's like a, some sort of a core material, like a, uh, I don't even really know what it is, but it's kind of a, like a flexible rod of some sort uh, that's in there, and that's what takes the load. And then the spring is just in there to help the, uh, the hitch so that it can uh, pivot nicely, um, you know, when you're turning with the trailer. Um, so this is the how you disconnect uh, the hitch, the bike from the hitch on the bike. Um, so this part, this clip comes off like this, and then this pin pulls right out like that. And this piece here just pulls right away from the bike, just like that. And that's what it looks like on the bike. That's what the hitch looks like. Um, all you got to do is just uh, take this bolt off, and then goes on there just like a kickstand would go on. Um, you know, a, a standard kickstand that goes on the back wheel. Uh, this bike has a bit of a different kickstand that bolts right to the frame. Uh, but that's the way that a, a typical uh, back uh, wheel kickstand works. Um, so it just goes there and it's not huge, it's, it doesn't weigh very much. Um, I'm, I don't think I'll mind leaving that on there uh, when I'm not towing the trailer. Um, so this is what the other part of it looks like. So that piece goes through there and then the pin goes through and locks it. And uh, Whoever the designer of this this trailer used a lot of these in their design. You'll see in a minute why what I mean by that. Um, so yeah, I'll just I'll just take the uh, the cargo out of there. And uh, so as I said, it's very foldable. If you want, uh, well this whole uh, this whole uh, black canvas material, you can it's just velcro it on. You can take it off, um, and then you can um, you know use the trailer as like a flatbed trailer uh, if you wanted to do that. So the trailer actually folds down pretty nicely. Um, I'll just demonstrate how to do that. Um, so this this whole black piece is all just held on with Velcro. So you can take the whole thing off if you want, but if you do, you just need to fold it up. Uh, you don't actually need to take the whole thing off. You just take the Velcro off of the front and the back sections. And then these bars across, they come out and they use the exact same uh, style of pins uh, that they use for the hitch. So it just comes off like that. And then you can pull it away from the side. And I just usually put the pin back in um, here so it doesn't get lost. And it pivots it over here. And then the same on the back. Just like that. It goes in like that. And that folds flat, just like that. And then you can make it even smaller because these wheels, they come right off. So all you have to do is press this little button in, and it comes released, and that's that's what the end looks like. So you just got a little uh, hook sort of thing that goes in there and keeps the wheel um, in place. And then just same on the other side. And then this frame can get even smaller because you can take this piece um, out. So pull this piece out, and the pin comes out just like the other ones, except a little bit bigger. Um, and this pivots down like that. And then you can put the pin back in in this position and just stay like that. And the wheels just go inside of it like this and that's the size of your trailer if you want to store it. So I haven't had this for very long so I haven't really done any uh, you know significant tests for carrying heavy or large items. I've just you know tested my unicycle so far. Um, I'm kind of figuring it's rated for 180 pounds, so that's 
fairly significant. Uh, when I first started assembling, I was thinking, you know, looking at how it's constructed, it's just got this uh, metal frame that goes around the outside, and then it's got this, this thin sheet of metal um, that's, you know, spot welded, um, you know, all the way along the outside. And I was thinking, oh, you can't put any significant amount of weight on that, but I've actually done a little bit of testing in that I sat on the trailer when it was parked and uh, it was able to hold my weight and I'm a little bit under 180 pounds. Um, but, uh, you know, the trailer itself definitely seems like it will hold the weight at least in a, a standstill sort of position. You know, I haven't tested the uh, the hits for that kind of weight yet, um, but uh, I imagine it'll be able to, to handle it and that uh, the frame was able to do it. Uh, the type of wheels it's got on it, these are 16 inch wheels, so they're really small. Um, but you really don't need very big wheels on a trailer, like you're not gonna, you don't really need that much clearance under a trailer, like, you're not gonna really take this anywhere uh, too exciting. Um, you know, riding with a trailer is definitely not as maneuverable as it is with a bike. That's why I've always uh, liked having milk crates for my cargo, uh, because you can, you can ride a milk crate bike anywhere that you can ride a normal bike, uh, you know, on a thin little pathway with that. Um, but on, on with a trailer like this, you got to make sure you find something that's about at least two feet wide or probably more than two and a half feet wide. Um, um, otherwise, your, your, your trailer is going to get stuck somewhere along the way. Um, so it's a little bit annoying if you're going along like a narrow little pathway and there's somebody walking the other direction and they don't move off to the side. Then you got to drag the whole trailer over into the grass and, um, and then it's pretty bumpy on the grass. The trailer uh, bumps around, but... Uh, I'm sure I'll find uses for this trailer that things that I wouldn't have been able to do with, with just a milk crate like that. So one thing I think I kind of want to change about this trailer um, is that let's say I have something in here that's longer than the trailer, like this length here. You know, it's, it's fairly long. It's definitely longer than a milk crate. Um, but let's say I have a, a 2x4 that I want to carry somewhere. Well, do I stick it down here and then do I let it stick out the top? Well, I wouldn't do that because this frame here isn't really meant for having any weight, uh, you know, sitting on top of it. Um, but it would be really nice if I could, um, you know, have something that I could stick out the back of it. Um, so I do have the option of, of taking this whole uh, black canvas material off, and then I have just a flat thing. But then um, there's really nothing protecting the the cargo from from getting you know caught in the wheels or or sliding forward when I uh, slam on the brakes. Um, what I'd really like to be able to do uh, was if I could um, you know, undo this back part here and then if I had like a zipper installed along this seam here then I could zip it down and then it'd just be like a you know, tailgate on a truck you could have stuff sticking out the back of course I'd you know fasten it with bungee cords and stuff at the front um, and then I could have stuff sticking out so that might be something that I uh, will change on here I know I've never done uh, I never installed the zipper or anything like that into fabric but um, be something new to learn maybe. Uh, we'll see. So I've actually been really happy with uh, how well it's towed. Like this hitch uh, actually works surprisingly well. Um, you can turn like very sharply with it. Um, like when you're turning left, uh, you know, this thing bends, you know, all the way out to like 90 degrees from it. So if I stop and I'm at a dead end or something, I can just turn right around without too much difficulty. Uh, it doesn't turn quite as far um, in the opposite direction to the right because the wheel can only go as far as this bar and then it rubs on there. I've already done a little bit of that, uh, you know, just from testing. But yeah, it, it tows really nicely. Like when you're, when I was, uh, when I took this home from the store, I, I bought it. It was about, the place I got it from was about like 11 kilometers or 10 kilometers away from home. And I pulled it all the way home. 
and uh, you know along the way I actually started to forget that I was pulling a trailer like it's um, it's really weighted nicely on here like I think that the, the stat said that the trailer itself was about 30 kilo or 30 pounds uh, but most of that weight you know is just transferred onto the wheels you don't really feel very much of it on the hitch um, so when you're going along with it empty you really hardly even feel that you're pulling a trailer um, but you do, of course don't want to forget you're pulling a trailer uh, because you don't want to go through something that's too narrow and then you know smash your trailer up um, but anyways yeah I've been been really happy with it um, I'm interested to see what it'll be like when I put uh, more weight in it I don't really have anything big right now that I can carry but definitely would be nice to be able to uh, you know carry an extra bike in there or something you know if I find a, a bike somewhere that someone's giving away or something and I want to get it home um, it's not very not very safe and not very fun um, to ride a bike while you're just sort of holding onto a bike uh, you know beside you or something but it'd be sure be nice if I could put it on that trailer um, somehow I could have to do it so that the back wheel or one of the wheels was dragging or was, was rolling on the on the pavement and the other one was just on the front or something like that I haven't really thought that one through um, completely but uh, definitely something I'd, I'd like to try sometime one other thing that I didn't show in my trailer uh, was this cover that goes with it as well um, it just goes on top of um, the top to protect what is ever inside keep things from uh, bouncing out or whatever uh, it's really simple it just uh, it's got elastic around the edges and it just uh, uh, stretches around the top of it and uh, does a pretty good job uh, but anyways uh, that's my new toy I just wanted to show it off while it was still brand new before I've uh, done anything to wreck it um, but anyways thanks for watching